Dissociative identity disorder is characterized by a disconnection within the psyche, resulting in alternate personalities apart from the host. It was originally theorized that these personalities were split evenly in two as a result of a separation of the two hemispheres of the brain. Later it was observed that there could be more than two personalities, which resulted in the appearance of a bichard like separation of the brain. Each personality was considered relatively equal as well as relevant, this was also later disproven. The brain, when diagnosed with DID, can be thought of more as like a home, with each personality taking up one room. The homes can range in size, as can the rooms, resulting in an infinite amount of possibilities for identity types and relevance, including various genders, sexuality, and illnesses. The owner of the home would be the host personality, or the original. They would be the identity that typically answers the door when there is a social call. But when the home is confronted with a change in situation, there can also be a change in identity answering the door. For example, if someone confrontational knocks on the door, a strong-willed personality may come forth to deal with them. If the visitor becomes violent, a protector personality may answer, shielding the host from any emotional backlash that may occur. These personalities may recognize the presence of the others, or they may have no idea of their existence, leaving a blank in the host's memory when a different personality answers the door. These personalities originally arose due to severe trauma, typically sexual or physical and usually during childhood. It isn't a result of a chemical imbalance, so there is no medicinal cure for the disorder. Instead, Patients go through intense therapy if they want relief from these personalities. Therapy can consist of one-on-one -on -one sessions, sessions with other patients of the same disorder, or sessions with the host's family. The goal is to take the positive portions of each identity and meld them into one, essentially recreating the host into their original state. This method has different levels of results depending on the patient, as no two cases are the same and trauma is dealt with in different ways.